Hello ladies, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I thought I would show you how I have cultivated my workspace to be a little bit more chic and a little bit more poised. So if you are new to our channel here, you may not know, I have been working as a content creator for the last few years now, and there's been some changes. I definitely, had, during the pandemic, was working from bed all the time, and although there is the rare day that I do work from bed, I most days either try to sit here or sit at my kitchen table. But even with my kitchen table, there was a period of time where my papers and computers were everywhere and it just wasn't fair to the other people that were in the house to have everything just strewn along the place. So that is when I got this little desk over here. It was only 50 pounds and I thought I could show you some of the things that I keep at it or on it and show you how I've kind of elevated the space. So let's start with these prints. I have been looking for pieces or prints that just seem a little bit more old worldy. And I was doing a campaign with the poster store and I had seen this one and I was like, ooh, does it a little, look a little bit too juvenile or will it come across as cute? And I know there's a bit of a glare here, but maybe I'll take some footage where you can see it a little bit more appropriately after. But yeah, I don't love this print. I do want to get something that is just a little bit more traditional and old world looking, so I'm on the hunt for that. Then this was a print, again, you might not be able to see it properly, um, that I had done in collaboration with Decenio, and it's just some line drawings of a female body. I think it's delicate and feminine and nice. And then we've got some floral prints here and here. I think that this is just a nice way to just try to enhance my feminine energy when I'm sitting at the desk and I'm working. Now speaking of florals, did you see, oh maybe you, I don't know if I put it up as a video here on this channel, but I went to a lavender farm. I'll be putting in some pieces of footage now. But when I was at that lavender farm with my friend Lorena, I picked up some dried lavender and I just keep it on the side of the mirror here. Now it does get everywhere on the floor and it doesn't smell the strongest, but I do think it is really pretty and I love looking over and being able to see it. One of the things that I've learned for myself is I need to be in a space that is beautiful, but cultivating a space is expensive. You might not know what your style is and it takes time. And I think the thing that I would recommend to you the most if you are at the beginning of your kind of homemaker journey is understand what style you like because you will waste a lot of money if you don't <laughs> or you'll be able to save a lot of money if you do because you'll be able to keep your eye out for certain things especially if they are thrifted and they fit the aesthetic that you want in your home. Now speaking of something that isn't cheap, one of the things that I love to keep on display is my designer handbags. So I just have them hanging on the other side of the mirror here. Now, not only do I like to keep them here because I like to look at them, but I like to keep them here just for easy access as well. But they're designer handbags. I've spent a lot of money on them and I like the way that they look. So if I enjoy the way that they look, why do I have to just admire that beauty when I'm wearing them when I'm outside of the house? This way I get to admire that beauty even when I'm sitting at my desk. Have you seen my video about chic houseplants? Well, if you did, you know I am obsessed with orchids. So this one is just in the midst of growing. One of the things I'm loving about orchids is that they're very low maintenance and they bloom forever. And so this one had died off and to be honest, I probably need to give it a good spritz and wipe down, but it's already growing back. I haven't put any orchid food in it or anything and I absolutely just love looking at it here. Now with that being said, this is the chair that I use for my desk, and so when I am sat in here working, I do have to put the orchid on the floor, and so it's not the most ideal, but this is the only spare room that we have in our home, so this is really the only option that I have. I did pick up some, what are they called, African parmas? Af African violets <laughs> and I do think that I might have that in this room maybe by the windowsill and then maybe put the orchid somewhere else okay on this side of the room I've got my computer and I've got my desk so 
Underneath this desk, you will see all of my books. It's not the most elegant or chic way of storing these books, but when I tell you we have one closet in this house, like one storage closet, we have one storage closet. Right behind where the camera is right now, there's kind of a closet. I think at one time there it was a closet, but there's no doors on it now, it was taken off. I don't believe my husband took it off. So we will be putting an extension on this side of the house. And so it kind of goes out from the side of the house. So there's no sense in us investing money, time or resources to put in any type of closet system because essentially this whole wall behind the camera is gonna come down. So with that, we have no storage space. So underneath here is where I keep all of my books. It's not the most organized. But one of the things that I'm learning about life in any arena is, is that you need to take action. There's a quote and it says, through action brings clarity. And until you take action, you won't know what systems work or don't work for you. And one of the things that I have been learning, I love reading, but there's certain types of books that I need to listen by audiobook, and there's certain types of books that I like to read, and there's certain types of books that maybe I need to sit down and like highlight or just be in a room with full silence. So I do have my Kindle down here, and there are a few books here that are maybe more kind of fantasy or fiction that I love reading, and then maybe a more personal development book is something that I like I would rather listen to by audiobook. Recently, my friend Agnes and I went to the Somerset Toiletry Company, and I will put some footage of that right after this, but the owner was so kind to send us home with a few different products. So I didn't have any diffusers or candles in this space, and so I picked up one of their diffusers, which this one is just Freesia and Pear, and I'm loving having it by my desk here. And then I've got the candle as well. So I just saved the box so I could show it to you all. But I like keeping the candle on a coaster because I have a piece of footage where this candle was in a tin container and it has completely scorched the counter, like the dresser, the dresser top. So now whenever I use a candle, I don't think that that would happen with glass, but I mean, I don't want to continue wrecking my furniture, right? So I'm just going to keep it on top of a coaster. Now, some of the other things that you're seeing that I have here, my mic. I bought this mic because I wanted to, well, I do voiceovers in my YouTube videos. And I can't figure out how to hook it up. Every time I go to hook it up, it just does not detect the device. And I get frustrated and I give up. But maybe one day I'll figure it out. And then I bought a jewelry box here. Now this jewelry box, it was given to me by my grandmother and my auntie when I was like maybe eight or 10 years old. And I remember I wasn't that fond of it and now I absolutely love it. It's broken and like there's some real jewelry in here and then some costume jewelry, but I would love to get it cleaned properly because it is silver and get it fixed because I think it's absolutely stunning. And then one of the things that I love the most about my desk here is I love finding ways that I can have things at my desk that are still beautiful or remind me of a beautiful time or just as beautiful to look at. I think it inspires me while I work. But one of the things I love the most is you guys have heard me mention Nicholas Fairford so many times across my social media. <laughs> it's probably a bit of an obsession. But there's a table in his house where he, he has a bunch of these little kind of containers. And I went to a charity shop and I saw this one there. And I just picked it up and I was like, oh, maybe I can put some jewelry in it or segregate my different kinds of like earrings so I don't have to go in... I just kind of put my, my earrings into this one container at this moment in time and it's not the best way of storing things. Anyways, um, so I, that's what I had originally picked this up for. But then there came a point in time where I was filming and I kept on throwing all my memory cards around the place and then now I store my, <laughs> I store my memory cards in there. And I just think what a pretty way to enhance your daily experience and look at something really wonderful too. Last but not least, I have a photo from our wedding day. 
it wasn't the smoothest of days, but it was still pretty. Anyways, my friends, that is it for this video. How do you cultivate your workspace to elevate your daily experience? Does it make you feel more chic? Does it make you feel more poised? I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video of this series.